Hello guys to another Monday video exercise episode and today we're going to solve the first exercise on the variable mass system. We have talked about variable mass system on our part 7 episode of introduction to momentum. If you haven't seen this episode or if you want to remember what we have talked about so you can go to the links below in the description or in the YouTube card above, watch the episode and remember the theory that we have already discussed. It will be important for today's exercise. So let's start, first of all, with the exercise pronunciation. We have a vehicle that a force has is been acting upon and the force is constant and of course it's moving towards this direction. There is no friction on the floor and here we have a mechanism that throws sand into the vehicle over time. At the starting time the mass of the system is the starting mass and the vehicle has no speed. The rate in which mass changes over time is given at its lambda and the exercise wants us to find the equations for speed in relation to time and for acceleration in relation to time. In order to solve the exercise the first step is to use the general form of Newton's second law of motion. The Newton's second law of motion in its general form states that the total external forces equals to the change in momentum over time. Here we don't have the mass as constant but it changes also over time. So the differentiation gives us this equation that is written on the whiteboard. First of all we know that the change in mass over time is constant and it's lambda so we have this equation here that we call the first equation. The second step in solving this exercise is to find the mass equation in relation to time. In order to do this we will use the integration in the definition of the rate of mass change over time and it is as it's uh, depicted on the whiteboard. We have the definition of the rate of mass change over time. We separate the mass from the time variables, we use integration and finally after putting the initial conditions we have the equation of mass over time and we call it equation number two. So the third part of the solution of this exercise includes the first and the second equation that we found in the previous step one and step two of the solution of this exercise. So we put them together as it's depicted here on the whiteboard. We separate the time and the speed variables we use integration and by solving this equation we find the equation of speed that we call the equation number three. So the last part of the solution of this exercise includes first of all the definition of acceleration, then the differentiation of the third equation or that we found before in, in the part 3 of the solution of this exercise in order to find the equation of acceleration over time. So, as it's depicted on the whiteboard, we can see here the definition of acceleration which is the speed, the change of speed in relation to time. Now we put here the third equation that we find in the previous part and then we differentiate and we conclude to the equation of acceleration in relation to time. 
I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, consider subscribing, comment and liking of this video. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus for more information, for more content every week. Thank you again for all of your support. It's been totally awesome, guys. And hope to see you all again in the next episode of A Journey into Physics.